Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. Now, I've been particularly looking forward this morning to talk to our next guest because today is, of course, International Day of Persons with Disabilities. And uh, with me in studio, we have a very special guest that also has a disability. Now, he might not be human, but he is an absolute inspiration to all of us. His name is Tripod, the amazing three-legged border collie that has overcome more challenges than most dogs, even humans, will in one lifetime. Also with us this morning, his owner, Marnie van der Heerfer, and uh, just to talk us through some of their adventures as they aim to raise awareness and also funds to help animals in need and also uh, children living with disabilities. Marnie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And oh, Tripod, like I said, what an inspiration to all of us. Can't wait to hear a bit more of the adventures. But firstly, I think, you know, he's such an amazing dog. I've met him a little bit earlier on. So full of life. What is his history? Where does he come from? Uh, he comes from a squatter camp outside Sierras. Uh, I must just tell a little bit of my story, uh, how it came that I, uh, Tripod chose me, I didn't choose him. <laughs> uh, I was in a serious motor car accident about 10 years ago, and after the accident, I suffered from panic attacks and severe <laughs> depression, and nothing helped. I adopted a small pug from the SPCA, and I started walking on the uh, beach, and then uh, running short distances, and eventually long distances. And uh, I recovered completely. Medication and psychiatry, nothing helped. But mm. that little dog had the ability to get me out of the house and get me to do things. And because he had short legs and breathing problems yeah. and insisted on running with me, I got a wheelchair. And when he was tired, I put him on the wheelchair. Uh, he died tragically, and I found it very difficult to cope with his death. And I went to a, a place that looked after abuse and stray dogs and walked their dogs in the morning. And one morning when I got there, Tripod was there, and he still had four legs, but the one leg was going all over the place. Oh, no. And I asked them what happened. They said a taxi broke his leg in three places, and he was left for three weeks to die. And when they found the owner, the owner said he doesn't want a crippled dog. They must just kill him. And they were going to put him down on that particular day. Mm -hmm. And whilst we were talking, one of the dogs that I walked attacked him. And when they separated him, Tripod ran straight to me, and he came and he sat next to me. Oh, and wow. I never wanted a dog again. I didn't want that pain of losing yeah. a dog. But when that happened, I said, no yeah. way. It's meant to yeah. be. No. Oh. And that uh, is what happened. I asked them if I could have him, if they amputated yeah. his leg, and they said yes. Sure. And he has tripod now. So in turn, the rescuer became yeah. the rescued, yeah. so to speak. I mean, he, I know that he means so much to you. Uh, up until this point, I mean, you guys have taken under, underwent some crazy adventures mm -hmm. together. Just talk me through some of those adventures that you've been on. Well, there, there are a couple of things that <laughs> were actually very funny. When we got to one town, uh, we were outside of the shop, and I was getting some food for, for Tripod, and an elderly gentleman came to me, and, and I mustn't talk about elderly people, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he said to me, you've caused a lot of problems. And I said, why? He said, no, it was on the TV and on the radio and in the newspapers that you are pushing a baby in the sun in a pram. <laughs> I said, well, this is not a pram, it's a wheelchair, and this is not a baby, it's, it's a dog. Yeah. And he said, but you must stop immediately. I said, why? He said, one day when you're old, your knees will give in if <laughs> you walk like this. Uh, and we encountered so many people. There were touching moments. Uh, at one stage, an old car stopped next to us. The car sort of spluttered and then died. Mm. And I thought the car was broken down, and I went to this gentleman, uh, also an uh, elderly gentleman, and he, <laughs> I said to him, uh, you know, I don't know anything about cars, but I can phone somebody for you. He said, no, I, I want to speak to you. I've seen the two of you on, on television and on, uh, uh, in the newspapers, and I want to give you something. And he fumbled in his purse, and he got out a crumpled 10 rand note, and he oh. gave it to me, and I said, it's fine, it's fine. And I realized there was something going on because he was starting to cry. He says, no, I want to give it to you in the name of Duke. Mm. I said, what happened to Duke? He said, he just died two weeks ago. Oh, wow. And he was sitting there crying. I was standing yeah. there holding his shoulder and started crying as well. Sure. And then uh, I said to him, you just remember, Duke is sitting mm. next to you. And somehow he was fine and he started the car and the car mm. was even fine. 
and they were off. Well, one thing is for sure. I mean, they are amazing creatures. Quickly, before we have to go, I know that you guys are doing these uh, adventures as well, but it's all for a good cause. In the new year, you'll be involved, you and Trumpet, in a project that aims to raise awareness around, uh, around stray and abused dogs and also children living with disabilities. What exactly is happening? Yeah, the, the, the project that I want to start, amongst others, is uh, to have a sanctuary where dog, dogs like Trumpet will be rehabilitated. And I'm slightly physically disabled, and I work with disabled mm. people, and I find that they often lonely and depressed mm. and you can't get a better therapist than a dog and we want to place yeah. these dogs with specific mm. physically disabled children mm. uh, we'll create the infrastructure so that they have food and they can look after the animals and uh, and that is the one project yeah. well i think it's it's fantastic that you can see you can speak from that first-hand experience and i think you're the perfect person to tackle something like this thank you so much and all the best for the next adventures i believe you guys are planning to to paraglide from signal hill as well yes which, but uh, the weather the weather <laughs> don't worry <laughs> the weather's going to clear up and i'm sure tripod is going to have an amazing time if you want to find out more about tripod and his adventures and also the great work that he is doing you can log on to our website expressoshow.com also our facebook page expresso morning show sap C3. Next up though, we're sticking with our animal friends, Tears Animal Rescue. They are proposing a fun way to break the office blues. Let's have a look.